Hey guys, Proto here. Welcome to our first look at Sky Haven. Huge thank you to the developers and publishers, Real Worlders, for sending me through a key to check this out. The game is out the 26th of November, uh, my time. So you guys will have to check out um, Steam. So head on over to Steam, search for Sky Haven, and you can find out exactly when it's out for you guys. By the time this recording is uploaded, it will be out anyway. So yeah, head on over. Check it out and pick it up if you like what you see here. So we're going to go straight into new game. I've got a rough idea what I'm doing, but we'll see how it goes. So the first step to the sky. People around the world are looking for ways to use new elements for the benefit of mankind. Mail and express freight have never been delivered so fast. Brave travelers and eccentric people try out a new way of travel as well. Although, of course, aircrafts are unlikely to compete with ships and trains. This era features small propeller planes, many mail and cargo flights, a number of passenger flights with a rich audience. So the beginning, 1916. Alright, so our controls are up here, we won't worry about those, but this is our current um, area that we can use. So I think... Oh, I don't know where I should start, if I should start like down here somewhere. Maybe, we'll have a look. Um, so our first thing we want to put in is a grass strip, obviously a runway. Um, I think I can change... Right, there we go. Maybe do a 10 meter grid size. Yes, that's right on the edge. Perfect. So, we've got where the planes will actually come in and land. Now we need to set up um, a grass strip exit, but I also want to set up um, some of these guys. So, where is the center? Roughly there, I think. So that's like the center there, I believe. Don't quote me on it. I want to have a. Uh, what's this? Grass taxiway, yep. So we want to have a taxiway coming out from either side here. I want to throw in maybe, I think, four. Have to remove those. So one, two, three. Let's go five, just to make it sort of even. Um, now we can sort these guys out. They'll all join together. And we have a road going straight through. So we actually need um, a road to come from over here. Now we're going to go to say here, all the way across. If we want to join that up with there, I think. We can always move this stuff later anyway. Um, our first building we're going to put in is an office. We'll throw our office uh, down here, I guess. I don't know if that's really going to matter where we put it. But one thing I want to put close is the barrel stock and the cargo storage. So we'll come out this way. And I'll come out this way. Can we actually get... Um... No, we can't. Can there though, I think if we go like that, one thing I want to be careful of is our money. I don't want to spend too much money. Go from there to there, yep, good. Okay, um, the cargo we can put in here. Barrel stock, which is for refilling, go in there. Now, so barrel stock, I want to link maybe the first three. That means that these first three will actually get fuel. So now we need to get a vehicle. So we'll um, buy one fuel vehicle. We'll come over to this one. We can go link to all available. And we'll buy two vehicles. Got to keep an eye on our money here. But I think that should be enough for us to get sorted. What does it mean by no connection with runway? wonder if that means we have to go like 
like this, and then like that. Maybe. I said I'm not exactly sure on how this all works just yet. $590, so we don't have a great deal of money at the moment. But now I've unlocked research, so um, we now develop more efficient storage layout. This will allow you to load barrels into two cars at the same time. Uh, reinforced loading. Uh, what does that allow us to do? Warehouse with loading docks. Air traffic control tower, passenger services, which we don't really need just yet. Uh, fueling personnel training, fueling boosts, barrel trolleys. Okay, cargo handling instructions. So there's a few things we can look at doing. Uh, flight scheduling, office furniture. I think we'll just go with... Um... Oof, we're out of money. Um, that, we'll research that for now. Alright, so we'll come out of there. Take that down, we'll turn the speed on. Current year is 1916. So we have very little money. Uh, let's go four times speed until we get some flights coming in. All right, here we go. So we've got an SB40. You want some fuel and some cargo. So we can go uh, ramp. Is that fuel? No, that's fuel here. So ramp five and this guy only has cargo, so if we put him down at ramp 3, he'll come straight down to here. So that should um, help us out a little bit. Um, so, we currently have... Is that 50 of 30? Yeah, 50 of 30 uh, cargo. So we can actually get a new contract to get people to bring more cargo in. But we won't worry about that just yet. So this guy wants 407 fuel and four cargo. So he can go on ramp four. So first plane's just arrived. $20 landing fee. That is good to see. How much fuel do we actually have? Um, yeah, we're getting low. So we're going to have to try and get some money in to be able to... Um, Load cargo blocked. Why is it blocked? Um, I have to get some money in to be able to bring in some more fuel. Oh, so that's our current fuel there. Okay, cool. So he'll come into here, then this guy will come in. Um, and what's he doing? He's. Oh, I think he's refueling. He's taking off the cargo. Our next guy is arriving. He wants 652 fuel don't quite have enough so we'll just wait we should have enough uh, so we might have enough by the time he gets here uh, ramp 2 oh yeah okay ramp 1 okay so here comes this other guy he wants just cargo unloading which is going to be easy Let's speed up a little bit. Another $10 landing fee. Beautiful. But this guy, trader on $15. Let's have a look. Can we actually bring any fuel in? Supply management. $420 is the lowest amount we can get. That's only for a thousand. We'll sign that. We'll get that brought straight in. Um, this guy can actually come in now. Uh, loading cargo, so we've got to wait for him. It's going to take a little bit of time for everything to get get done, but he's going to come through. He's got 10 cargo on board, or is he coming to unload? See, this guy, we can't take him anywhere. See, this one hasn't got, these two haven't got fuel. Available. Um, this guy's waiting on cargo. Uh, what are you doing? So he's loading cargo. 
is unloading cargo, I believe. Where's our fuel delivery? It should be coming in through here pretty soon, I hope. Right, so he's going to come through here. He's going to get fueled when he can. Right, this guy's going to come down here, and I think he's going to load him up. Yep, so he's loading cargo. Then he'll take off. Right, where's our fuel delivery? Otherwise, we're going to be out. Um, right, pause quickly. So he wants 96 fuel. This guy just wants fuel. He just wants fuel as well. Um, we're out of fuel, so we should have our delivery coming soon, I hope. Right, so these guys are going to keep doing their thing. We're obviously um, just waiting on the fuel to arrive. There we go, the fuel's just arrived. It says we got five, I didn't think we ordered 5,000 litres. Um, 629. Oops, I don't even know which one I clicked on then. One of them's coming in. So there's our fuel delivery. So he's going to take off when he can. This guy, we can go over here, get a new parking slot, and then buy a new vehicle. So now we have three of those guys running around. And we can do the same over here. Uh, actually, we can't right now. We need to wait and get some more money in, obviously. Um, so fuel and cargo. This guy's just fuel, so we'll bring him in. Because we don't have any cargo at the moment, we need to obviously get some more cargo brought in. This guy's going to take off. Here he goes. There comes some more money, so let's go to our cargo management. Um, anyone does instant, there's an instant delivery. Um, the 50. $700. We'll sign that though, we'll get that straight in, I think. So he's just landed. Let's have a look. Um, $501. Bring you in. That's just cargo. Yep, that one's just cargo, so those guys can come in as well. So we've only got the one, um, the one run right, run, the one uh, runway at the moment. Right, so cargo load. He's done. Fueling's done. So we've got a fuel. Fuel one we can accept. Um, we'll get that one. That's just straight fuel. So another landing fee. This is where we probably should have left more room so we can have add additional runways. Not that we can afford them at the moment, but. Right, so what's everyone doing at the moment? I think we should have got that delivery. Here we go. We only ordered 100, but we're getting 300, which is interesting. I'm not going to complain, but it's probably one of the bugs. Um, Alright, so we've got someone available just for cargo. Uh, we'll take you, you can go just into there. Actually, it was cargo on fuel, I think, that one. We could probably look at another fuel truck at the moment. Um, let's go upgrade that, buy another fuel truck. It's only going to help us refuel some things a bit quicker. Uh, you can go into there. Right, 
Probably got lots of people wanting to fly in, just nowhere to put them. Right, that one's available, so that's no fuel, that is just cargo. Right, so you can go there. Uh, let's go one with the most money. Well, this one's probably the easiest one, to be honest. Bring him in. These guys are ready to fly off. Right, so off he goes. I think we definitely need a second um, runway. It's all about um, setting it up, I guess. Um, 501, go this one. Setting the runway up a little bit better. Um, right, 676, I can come in there. So I don't know whether we should have had like this still the same setup and have another runway on this side. Have that all link up. Come in this way and then fly out that way. So you have like, you can actually sort out through here, click on this and go arrivals only. Or both or just departures. Right, so we have... Oh, they all need fuel. We want someone that just wants cargo. It, to be honest, now we could probably link all of them. I'll we'll take that. We could probably do fuel on all of them. Like it's not going to hurt. So max plane limit's been reached. Did we actually research? No, it's still going. Okay. Oh, yep, there it is there. Right, so take you into there. Now we're just waiting. So we're waiting for these guys to take off now. We've got plenty of money, though. $2,000. So we could probably... What do we need for our runway? 1300 So if we go like this... Take that all the way down to here. Grab our runway. I think that's right. Come down. Trying to work out. Uh, three, four, five. One, two. Hold on. Two, three, four, five. I don't know. About here. That in there. So I don't know. If I grab that and go from there to there. Yeah, uh, four fifty. We go like this and go. This is arrival only. That's departure. So they'll arrive and then go whichever way they need to go. I think. Don't quote me on it. Um, oops. We have no connection to the road. It's not going to help. Right, come into here. We need to go. Dual management, new contract. So instant. We'll just do that one. That actually fills us up anyway, I think. Alright, so these should be arrivals. That should be departure. So let's speed up a little bit and see. That's actually going to work. Okay, so we'll slow down again. Uh, ramp. Let's go five. This one will go ramp four. Yeah, they should. Okay, so they come and land in this way. 
Um, I'm going for the big money contracts at the moment. Ram. One. Yeah, so they'll land in this way. They'll all depart that way. That's probably a lot better doing it that way, I think. Right, so I've got a bit of extra money. So let's go to there. Alright, um, you can go ramp three, doesn't really matter. So we're still, um, got too many planes in the area. Uh, let's go ramp two. I think if we were do it, to do it again, we'd probably um, do this a little bit different. That's definitely better if you can get two runways down. One coming in, one going out. Possibly even go like that. So you can come in here and go that way. If he needs to. Right, so everything's occupied at the moment. Come straight in there. It's going to be pretty interesting. It's all about um, you know managing things better. Everything is occupied at the moment, so just got to wait for some of these planes to get out of here. Uh, can we look at um, upgrading again? We should have five. Cargo trucks. And then potentially we can grab another another fuel truck. Alright, so here we go. Let's go uh, three. You can go to two. You can go five. The other one can go four. There we go. So these guys are all ready to take off. That money, you know, it goes up steadily, which is good. Still trying to get this advanced barrel logistics researched. I wonder, um, that's an hour and 29 minutes. If we do that, it's an hour and one minute. But it makes it a little bit quicker if we can hire some more people. All right, comes another plane. I mean, we're doing alright. Really can't complain. Yep. I'm gonna get like a um, decent screenshot if we can. There we go. It's gonna be interesting when we get to the later later stages and stuff like that. Okay, so landing fee. I go unload, extra landing fees, some more landing fees. Got this one, this grass ramp empty. That says it's occupied, but there's no one there at the moment. So this is quite interesting. Um, okay, uh, four, you can go to four, you can go to three. I think I would maybe organize things a little bit different. Like if we had um, a runway here and a runway here like we have now, have it so they come down, so they come in this way. Um, so they come, maybe exit straight away, then taxi down, and then they've got all these things here. Then have a bigger gap here between these taxiways, so we can put the buildings in the centre of the runways, so everything's right in the middle. And then have it so it all goes down this way, and it enters, they enter here, because they, they've all got to take off from here. 
think that's how I would set it up next time. But it's definitely, um, take a quick screenshot, but there's definitely a lot of stuff you sort of need to go through your head and work out what's the best, what's going to be the best thing for you to actually do. So that's done. Two unit barrel stock station. Reinforced loading docks. Uh, it doesn't actually tell us warehouse with loading docks. Okay. Um, air traffic control. Air traffic controller service tower ensures all the mentioned safety precautions increases the airport's operations per time slot limit, as well as the number of dispatched aircraft. Advanced drivers training. To entrust them with newer and larger trucks. Okay, um, pump fueling, growing fuel volumes demand new approaches, blah 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 blah. So we get a new truck, big barrel fuel storage and hand pump station. So I don't know, that's not available yet I don't think. Um, so fuel personnel training, gives us a fuel boost. Construction, you can do some paved taxiways and stuff. Not sure what this actually does. Workflow boost. Let's look at um, fuel personnel training. All right, um, ramp one. Go into there. Trying to take the bigger contracts. Oop. So a large barrel stock. That's the next building that we've unlocked. Oop. So you can take a quick. Oh, every time I do that, it pauses it. Right there we go. So have a look at this. Um. So what do we have? Let's go barrel stock and a large barrel stock. Looks exactly the same. Fuel storage, but it can take up to ah thirteen thousand. Okay. You click on that and go demolish. Get that back, which is fine. Um, and that removed part of our road. All right, that one. You can go ramp four. Ramp 2. I'd probably set this up a little bit better, as I said. So, um, it's up to you guys. If you guys want to see some more, um, let me know. Leave a like. Uh, let me know in the comment section. I might actually re plan this for the next episode and redesign it and start again. Now that we've sort of looked at how things are, I think it would be a lot better if we actually did it that way. Um, Alright, so you can come in. I mean, we're definitely getting money. We can't complain with that. Uh, fuel storage supply might actually get out of there. New contract, we'll sign that to get some more fuel in. Okay, that one can come in. So obviously, we would eventually want, if I've got like, Let's have a look. If we go like this, um, obviously we can't do that. Where are we going? I think you could probably get 10. 10 of these um, like grass ramps. So if they come in this way, then they exit, go straight up, do what they need to do, then exit there again. It's going to be a lot quicker for the planes leaving from this direction. Like that one. I mean, we're getting along pretty well. So um, what we'll do here, guys, is we'll end the episode here. As I said, if you guys would like to see more of this, as always, smash that like button and leave a comment. Let me, let me know if you'd want to see some more. We can probably come back next episode, as I said, and redesign all this and get this working much better. I think every time we go through an episode, we're going to 
do something new that is going to make it so much easier for us. So I guess we'll just have to um, play it by ear and, and see what happens. But if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.